Hello there everyone, welcome back to some more Brotato. We're gonna do testing out the legendaries. Um, and it was because I mentioned the King Arthur run. I really don't know what I'm gonna do for King Arthur, but I'll figure it out. Um, but we also uh Mr. J. Taylor said, what about chain gun with cyborg? Because he uses both of these, and I, you know, for some reason I wasn't thinking about that. But I also want to say thank you to Cheers Cliff, to Fusion, to Garrett for all the comments. And then I hope you guys commented on the Endless video and, uh, you know, enjoyed it. But I appreciate everyone for your support. We're going to start with this run with the chain gun. So, wow, that's disgusting. I love it. Um, I do want to maybe try to put a limitation on myself for this run. But I think I'm just not going to. Um, this character already starts with uh, really good weapons, so... Whatever. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna just go with damage right off the bat. The scale on... Well, so he... Range damage becomes engineering, and engineering is lower, so I... Eh, we'll just ignore it, I guess. I will just ignore it. Um, just gonna go. Uh, cause I think I usually take, like, wrenches with this guy. Maybe that'll be the balance is I'll only take ranged weapons. I don't know. I don't know, man. But the chain gun shouldn't suffer. I don't believe, at least. I don't think chain gun will suffer. Uh, as we go through with this because it's basically gonna flip one stat to the other um, Attack speed is gonna be meaningless Actually, it might have meaning Because um, of the reload maybe That I'm not sure about uh, I'll just go with some damage early on though Just some nice nice early damage uh, what to take for these early waves is a little tricky. A little tricky on what items I should or shouldn't be taking. Uh, Alright, so it's dealing six damage. And then when it flips, it deals nine damage. Yeah, okay, so. I'm, the chain gun will be more powerful in the beginning, and then the, or sorry, the mini gun will be more powerful in the beginning, and then the chain gun will be more powerful. Which, oh, we actually hit the reload. Um, sure. Let's take it. We'll take it, uh, because it's so much lower, right? Like, yeah, that's one. So I probably shouldn't have even done that in the first place, but whatever. Not that worried about it. Uh, what's the knockback? Five, three. Could use some more knockback. Just a little... Uh, I want to see how this is affected. 4.4. 4.18. Okay. Nope. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Not going to be taking those. That's pretty minuscule. So I'm not huge on that. And we can get bouncy bullets. That would be absolutely busted um more piercing these pierce right yeah they both pierce so the pumpkin would be really good um lots of health would be really good we want to focus on um want to make sure that i focus on getting tons of knockback honestly probably that's what i'm gonna think um what's the crit rate one and three. It's probably not worth looking into. Realistically, that's probably not worth looking into. It's going to be pretty... Not impactful. Um, yeah, so I, I think I'll limit it. I can take chain guns and mini guns and... Yeah, I think I think that's what I'll put as a limit for this, because <clears throat> you know I I, I don't want to just like you know take a bunch of 
wrenches and have that be like absolutely giga busted. In you know, just wreck. Like, I mean, I, as you can see, we're we're not particularly having a problem here. Um, but yeah, I think that'll be fine. Sure, we'll just lower our dodge into oblivion. Do we want Tyler? Yes. I think we do. <clears throat> Mostly because, like, I never get to take advantage of him. And I want to take advantage of him. And nothing can get close enough for him to... There we go. Because, like, nothing can get close enough for him to damage it. <clears throat> So I will take, like, uh, maybe I've passed over turrets. I didn't really know exactly what I wanted to do with this run or not to do with this run. But I do know what I want to do today. That's to say thank you very much, everyone, for leaving comments on the videos. I apologize about uh, there being no Brotato. We had a live stream. But a what we can only assume is a logging truck uh, clipped the telephone pole. So we didn't have internet. Luckily, it wasn't too long, but yeah, that was annoying. It was uh, the exact opposite of cash money. Uh, yeah, but like, and it was weird because like, so we just went out and uh, it was like, yo, why is my internet not working? And then like, I go look and it's like the cable is like, like, someone clearly stopped and moved it back in. It was split, like, the middle of the road. So, our our cable goes across the road. And it was, like, split across the road. Which is obviously super weird. Um, because... How the heck did something clip it 20 feet in the air? Which is why, uh, apparently, a lot of logging trucks will overfill... Um, their load, which is very dangerous because that's when you get a um, what's it called? Uh, final destination. And that's not cash money. Don't know if you guys have heard this. Uh, distinctly not cash money. Hmm. Let's see. No. Yes, I will. I'll take loose turrets. I'm not going to take wrenches. I think that's a fair compromise. I think that is a fair compromise for my disgustingly overpowered run. Uh, yeah, but, it, like, and then um, we called him out. It was, like, 3 p.m. that it happened. Uh, so I'm really thankful that I did my due diligence and made sure that the video was live a day beforehand. Um... But it was just super frustrating because I was like, you know, I, I wanted to do, I, was, I, was, I wasn't sure which legendary I was going to do. I may have done drill, but I, I'm, cause I'm, I'm probably not going to do, um, the scythe because that's a really awkward position to be in with taking that much damage. I'll just die early on. Um, and obviously that won't be fun. So, kind of an awkward position to be in. Should not have rolled that. Oh well. Um, but it was, uh, yeah, just trying to get it up. And, nope. I, I could have recorded it, but there were other things going on as well that kept me from doing my brotato -ry. And one of those things is, uh, it was like raining really hard and I just wasn't in the mood. And then I had to leave the house and go take care of other things. But I didn't get back till late. And at that point I was like, all right, well, I want to try to go to bed early. And then I didn't go to bed. So I'm rocking like 45 minutes of sleep today because the they were supposed to show up at 8 a.m. 
and I wanted to make sure that they, in case they needed anything, like I was available instead. Because half the time, if, if they're like, oh, well, you weren't available, so I just left. No! Don't! Don't just leave. Um, but they continue to just leave. Uh, so I, I wanted to make sure that I was available. And then they didn't listen to what we said needs to be done. And that wound up with us. Uh, cause you need a bucket truck. It's 20 feet in the air. Um, and they didn't listen when we said that the line's been cut because it's like a clean cut. <clears throat> I'm going to post it in Discord. If you want to join the Discord, there should be a link down below. And I also need to make sure I fix it uh, so that there's the Instagram link. And and I think that's the only link I actually need to add in. Um, that way people can get a hold of me on those if you want to. Um, just like for the giveaway um, that you can enter in the previous video. It should only be live for... It, it will only be live for a week. So if you've seen this late, then it is finished. But... Uh, you just need to reach out to me on a platform. Because I had a question about this, so I wanted to clarify. Um, you just need to reach out to me on a platform. Because if I don't know where to give you the key, I can't. So it could be an email um, or you know, anything. Just I need to be able to reach you. Damage is pretty good. I know that hedgehog's there and HP regen's not a huge thing. But I don't really care. I'll slow down enemies. That'll be fine. The damage up is actively bad. Wisdom is actively bad right now. It's not going to have any positive effect. <clears throat> because... I mean, so it'll probably have a pause effect of like plus 5% damage because the latter half of the wave, I lose my damage. My damage, well, I mean, it's still going to affect the gun, but it's going to be less impactful. So that's not something I'm going to do. Also, it's just like genuinely, generally, genuinely not that good. It's fine, I guess. Um. But not not a huge fan on it. It's whatever. I would like to get <clears throat> excuse me. I would like to get up to two damage um, on my uh, chain gun, mini gun, whatever it's called. Uh, in this state, and I think that's just gonna require. I need a ridiculous amount of. Should I allow myself to take Obliterator because that's funny and stupid? It's funny and stupid. <clears throat> um, I, I, I don't think that is going to help me in this run. Um, so that's why I'm totally okay with it. Because I love funny and stupid. That <laughs> Look at them all click hanging out um if i could actually get bouncing bullets then it would be a lot better um because no, I, ha I have to wait till it gets to there we go i guess it's still technically positive um yeah so it, like that's really not making that massive of an impact on the run and i don't it's fine by me there's a horde wave. This feels like a horde wave. <clears throat> I don't feel like I'm getting as much materials off of the enemies as I should be, could be, would be. So. That is what it is. Thank you. Uh, sure. Sure. More range damage. More raw damage. Yes, yes. Uh, we already aren't going to have crit. Ooh, the heal thing. Ooh, speed. See, I'm just going to take silly weapons at this point. I didn't check if that was a horde wave. Oh, well. 
Not my problem now. That's past me to worry about. Like current me is is worried about all of this damage I'm taking. Please no, do not be taking the damage. I don't like it. Yes, yes. <clears throat> What's the heal? Six? Nice. It's a pretty good heal. It's a pretty good heal. I'm wondering if chain gun... Maybe if we had a couple chain guns. Maybe chain gun would be able to like, carry us super far. There's always the problem of you just can't overcome um, bullets. Like, bullets are the hardest thing because... You can kill an enemy immediately. Like, literally before they spawn, you can kill an enemy. And that doesn't mean anything if... Ooh, okay. Sure, what out. Uh, that doesn't mean anything if you... I'm gonna say no to that. I really don't care about it piercing an additional time. It's an elite. Sure, I'll take the bait. Also, that means that I did, um, I did have an, uh, I did have a horde wave on 12. And, um, also look at the, uh, just deletion of the elite. That was great. And that wasn't even when my, uh, chain gun actually gets more powerful, which is really funny. Cause it just gets way stronger. I kind of wish I could have a run where I just had, like, disgusting... I mean, I, I could just, like, install a cheat engine to set damage, or set range, or... Sorry, not range. Um, set attack speed value to X, and then have it be, like, 10,000 or something stupid. And then have, like, a minigun obliterator run and just see how far that goes, but... I don't know how to do that. I just, I'm assuming there's some kind of thing, like, maybe I could just create my own character and they have, um, absolutely giga-busted stats. Uh, sure went out. Sure went out. Nullify some damage, get some more HP, get a turret, and a pickup, and a garden. In the garden, we are growing something, something. It's Bioshock. Also, I don't remember if I ever actually addressed it, like, what the quotes were that I was saying. Uh, would you kindly is Bioshock. It's from Bioshock 1. It's Andrew Ryan. Would you kindly? Uh, a man chooses a slave obeys because it's a literally like um what was it it's like brainwashing it was like sleeper a sleeper agent that's that's the thing i'm thinking of uh it's sleeper agent stuff so it's effectively what it is and i like that but it's it's just one of my favorite quotes because it's it's just it fits really well in like everything. You know what? I don't want two of them. I just want one. Oh, but that was less efficient. Yeah. Which point? <laughs> I don't care. Uh, having two of them is definitely smarter than, uh, cause then I would actually have more weapons, but I genuinely don't think that's going to be a problem since I have been just absolutely crushing it. You know, there are some other weird, funny weapons that I could take with this. I don't, the, sniper rifle. If sniper rifle shows up, I'll take sniper rifle. Maybe I should do, maybe I should try a sniper rifle run. I'm gonna kind of give this a break a little bit, I think. After I'm, I want to do the King Arthur run, at least. If you actually have any ideas, I might do an infinite after this one, um, 
So if you want to share your ideas, what do you think would be fitting for a King Arthur run? Don't want to use Excalibur. I'm going to give myself Excalibur to start with, so. Um, because I feel like if it's going to be King Arthur, I can't take another weapon. Because it's just going to, uh, I'm just going to get punished. Huge. Um, probably too late for this. I'll just take it. I think it's probably too late for that as well. But I don't really care. Um, but yeah, like, help me brain... Because I think just the minus three armor on everything feels a little poopy. So I feel like it just need. I just need to use um, Excalibur. Um, I don't remember who it is. Uh, but there's the gay bolg, G A E B O L G, the legendary lance or spear. There's like the lance of Longinus or Longius or whatever. So I was talking to someone about it because they were they were talking about like legendary weapons. I was like, oh, the lance of Longinus. <laughs> like that's not a real thing. And I was like, well. Kinda is. I'm just saying. I'm just butchering it really bad, but it, it technically is a thing. Excuse me. How much damage are you dealing? Seven. What the heck? That's awesome. That's awesome. No. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Go. Uh, die. Awesome. Yeah, I just got a little bit of power. And what's crazy is, like, midway through the run, I actually do get stronger. I get stronger and weaker. I believe I get stronger in the long run. Because of the insane power of the chain gun. It's a very cool weapon. Um, as one weapon... Anytime there's a reload, it just becomes like massively doggy dukes, but I, I, I do like the balance it has on it where it's like every 100 bullets fired. So maybe it's every 33 shots if it counts them as three unique instances of bullets every time it shoots. But that's a lot of shots before you're rendered immobile. I'm sure, why not? That's kind of funny. Uh, yeah. Maybe I'll do a little bit of it. Just a little bit of Endless. Just a smidge of Endless. Mostly because I just want to see this, like, chew into, uh, chew into stuff. We're still at negative five. Um, because of the bullets. Now, the bullets are going to be bad as we, as soon as the half wave hits, they'll be dealing, uh, what, two damage? Roughly, so, like, two damage. Um, but that'll be kind of funny. I might just go to wave... I don't know. Maybe, maybe... No. I'll go to, like... I'll go to wave 30, and then I'm, and then I'll stop. Because I'm having a lot of fun with this, and I, I don't want it... I don't want the run to end. This is going, like, really fast. Like, we're 23 minutes in. Like, what the heck? It's... It just feels way too fast. But, that's okay. It's dealing two damage. Uh, because we still have the power of the chain gun to really, really help us. I wonder if legendaries, like, can't be found past or before wave, um... I wonder if they, like, can't be found before wave, uh... 20 plus. Maybe? I don't know. All right, well, I didn't immediately chew him out and spit him out, but, I mean, I still did an excellent job. And I actually got before I got more powerful, I wound up killing him, which is hilarious. 
We have a lot of power. So long as I'm, you know, I do have my due diligence and don't just run into enemy bullets. We're in a very, very good position. But if I just continually run into enemy bullets, we're obviously in a pretty bad position. Yeah, I, I really don't mind endless mode up to like wave 30 and then I really like the balance that it now has where it, they don't just skate like it was like wave 30 and it's like thousands freaking thousands for like objects or for any of the upgrades um got the damage did I click endless or did I oh I think I already had this set to endless yeah whatever What's one engineering for every uh, elemental you have? Ah, uh, none! Just take that for lulz. Take that. Minigun will buy. It'd be crazy to get a second, um... Chain gun. I will say, though, I kind of hate it because I call them... I, I, I'm not sure how often I call the minigun the chain gun. Or the Gatlin gun. Why don't they add a Gatlin gun into the game? <laughs> It'll be... Like, th th then I'll just be so much more confused. It'll hurt my brain more. That'll be funny. But yeah, we'll go to like, like 30 or whenever I die. I'm not gonna push it too, too far. But it is cool to like see... Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh wait, no, never mind. I was about to say, um, the piercing does affect turrets now, so that's really good. I was gonna say I forgot that they're bouncing. They're not bouncing. Um, that is baby with a beard. I don't have bouncy bullets. Yes. Yes. That'll actually be like really good. Uh, it's pretty not menial. But, I don't know. Whatever. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. There's so much power. Yeah, I really like this cyborg as a character. They're very fun. Especially since they get to lean into, like... Uh, engineering basically, like, always stands alone. Which is just such a bummer. Uh, cause elemental can work with other weapons a lot easier than, um, engineering can. Cause engineering isn't, isn't affected by attack speed. Okay. If you have a special item, it's affected by attack speed, but it's not affected by attack speed, which like really changes the flow. Um, it's not affected by damage val or percentage damage. Obviously it's affected by the engineering stat, which is its damage, but... Sure, cheaper. Um, I should have rerolled there. Oh, well. Ain't no big thing for the chicken wang. Ain't a big deal. But yeah, this is, this is really fun. Like, I, I enjoy this. Um, so... The, the drill, I'll, I think I'll, I'll do another infinite character um, of the infinite. Try another run of them. See how that goes. And then I think we'll try and do, and this is all subject to change, just like the next couple runs that I want to do. So I definitely want to do Excalibur. I definitely want to do the drill. And then I won't do the scythe. So I need a ridiculous amount of regen to do the scythe. Um, and then we'll have... Um, was 10 engineering? Sure, why not? I know I didn't get 10 engineering, I just don't care. Uh, 50... That's a lot of damage. Imagine how, much, how, how powerful this would be if I actually had, like, you know, more weapons. Um, but yeah, the, uh, 
characters I want to do. I feel like I missed what I was trying to say. Um, yeah, and there, there are obviously tons and tons and tons of modded characters. This is the GMO mod, um, which I definitely want to do because that has like the character combination. So I might, I might jump around between a bunch of mods. I'm not. I really don't know. It's all subject to change. Like these are just ideas that I have for it. If you have an idea that you'd like to see me do, like Cyborg with the chain gun. I honestly, I actually may have overlooked Cyborg and like just chose Engineer or something, which would have been really funny to just have like an Engineer run that doesn't rely on the, uh, engine, you know, the standard engineering stuff. That'd be funny. Uh, sure. I'm not too long for this world. Hilarious. Hilarious. Oh, I, I have, um, negative one dodge, so, like, literally worse than useless. Was my knockback so strong that he couldn't get towards me? I feel like that's not true. But I also feel like I just displayed a lot of power. So I don't know if it is or isn't true. But I go, I could, I, I could, just, just a little, just a little more, just a little more knockback. Yeah, but having the, granted I was already on endless mode, but having the endless mode um, actually give you a choice is so huge. Cause like, I, Almost, uh, I don't like to set endless mode ahead of time. Um, because it makes me feel a little poopy. Let's do a tax for every one dodge you have. Oh, that actually just gave me dodge. Sure, why not? Uh, a turret, some lemonade. Yeah, I know. I just took a range damage down. What's the uh, what's point? I don't know what I'm doing with this run. Yeah, I know the attack speed means basically nothing. <laughs> what's your point? You're really gonna tell me this run isn't already like just, just decimating everything? I'm obviously not being uh, particularly efficient, but I also don't care about getting to a disgustingly high level. Cause I feel like as soon as the half wave hits and I'm dealing like 12, 20, even 50 damage with the, uh, minigun, which 50 damage would be a ridiculous amount of, um, attack speed up. Uh, I will just get overcome by the enemies cause they get faster. They get more health. They do more damage. I don't have incredible health gain. Which is, you know, something of a problem. Not a super major problem, but it is it is something of a problem. And yeah, I'm taking that for dodge, just so I can lean more into the attack speed. Because I don't know, why not? Um, I probably wouldn't have hurt. <clears throat> would not have hurt me to have... Uh... The community support would probably have been fine. Since that would have boosted my attack speed some more. But I wasn't really thinking about caring about boosting my attack speed at that point. So, I just paid it no heed. Uh, I think it's 35 damage, which is pretty significant. Pretty significant if I do say so myself, which I do have said to my to myself. Absolutely huge. Uh, sure, sure. Let's just bring on more enemies. Nah. There we go. Finish him off. 
Finish him off. That's actually crazy how long that took. I mean, like, did it really take that long? No, absolutely not. Like, this run is, is doing a great job of crushing it. Uh, the baby with a beard stops being good very quickly. I mean, literally halfway through the wave, it stops being good. But we are still managing to kill enemies pretty well. Um, probably the piercing would have been worth it. Or would be worth it. I'd like to see bouncing in the next shop. But if I don't, I really don't care. I'm going to just stand still as soon as the next, uh, after 30. So I'll try and beat 30 and then I'm just going to stand still. Um, and literally not pay any attention to whether I live or die. Um, oops, I lowered my dodge. Which lowered my attack speed. No! It's not really a weapon that you can just have. Like, this is my only weapon. Just because, like, anything that has a four-second cooldown. You're gonna need at least something else to, like, knock him back, freeze him in place, something like that. If I could stack up enough of the tardigrades, I'd be nigh-invincible. I mean, there is no invincibility. Like, you'll, you're always subject to the de the greater decline of death. But it's fun to think about it not being. Um, obviously, if there was an item like Nod Leaf, you could probably literally have true invincibility. Uh, Nod Leaf is an item that allows you to stand still, and so long as you're standing still, you are actually invincible. Yes. Hey, another baby with a beard. Let's go. That'll be my test. I will take that at the start of uh, the next wave. And then I will survive as long as I can. 30 gone. Ooh, 50 damages. Yeah, we might just die here. Every 10 waves is like a huge up in damage. Oh, there we go. I died here. Oh, well. Either way, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoy. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.